Um, put this on, put this on. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to do another one. Not today. No. We're, um, we'll get one in for sure. <laughs> um, but let's go ahead and um, let's look at this point. Because this is some really actually important thing right now. So we have a random point, x, y. Right? We know that x tells us how far away we are right, from the origin. Right? When we plotted those points, we basically counted from the origin. right? So we go x this way, and then we go y that way. right? Do we have another distance away from the origin? Yes. Can we also just do a straight line? Yes. Yeah, right? Now that's kind of like the distance form. Remember when you guys did the distance form, we did that, like something like that, right? But that is a direct line. Now, from here though, we can recognize, well, if I just drew a right angle here, that actually creates a triangle, right? And then we last class period we talked about um, last class we talked about like angles in standard form. We could see that that's actually an angle in standard form. Now let's identify the sides of this triangle. This is x, that's y. This direct thing is, we could say, the hypotenuse, right? But it's really the distance from this point to the origin, a direct shot, right? So if for the hypotenuse, we use c. Um, in this example, let's use r, OK? Just because I said so. It'll make more sense, though, next time, or next class period. So now, let's go ahead and, well, what about if we have a point over here? Oops, I'm sorry. What if we have a point negative x, y? Do the same thing. Now, this is negative x. This is y. Should this be still be r, or now that it's negative, should it be a negative r? Oops, I'm sorry. It's still r, right? Because negative x squared is x squared. y squared is y squared. Like That's still always going to be positive. Now, I wrote theta in there, but actually I shouldn't have. Because are we sure that those are the same? Because should we use alpha? Because they could be different, right? They're in different quadrants. Or are they the same? Well, if you think about slope, of course the slope is the same. Or you can think about transformations. What transformation am I doing? A reflection. Is a reflection going to change the size and shape of a figure? No, no right? It's a, it's a um, ridge transformation. So therefore. This is not, that's not going to affect it, right? That's just reflecting about the y-axis. Agreed? Notice the x's are positive and negative reflecting y-axis. That's back to polynomials. <clears throat> but anyways, let's go ahead and continue. Negative x, y. OK, that's going to be a right triangle again. This is negative x. That's y. This looks like it be r. Should we use another theta again? Yeah? Yeah. All right, let's do it again. It's kind of getting fun. I know my triangles are not perfect, guys, but bear with me. Um, here, this is a y. And this is actually a negative y. And that's an x, and that's an r. Cool. Huh? How'd I get what? Yeah, that's a negative y as well. I forgot to write that in there. So we have negative x for these two and a negative y for these two. Right? So I really, all I did was I just took my points and I just created triangles with them. Now, so what do you guys recognize, or what are some things we recognize here, let's say about r? It is the same, but what about the value of r? It's always positive, positive right? Because r represents a distance. Yes? There is no direction for r, it's just the distance from the center to that point. Whereas x and y is a distance and a direction, right? We have an up and down, a left and right. And again, this is the difference here is, and when we did this last chapter, or when we did this day one, guys, I gave you a triangle like this. And I said, you know, here's the triangle, find the you know, sides of the triangle. It made no sense for anything to be negative, right? This was a triangle out in outer space. Like literally take this, go to outer space. There is no up, down, left, or right. Agreed? There's no orientation. Everything is just out floating around. However, when we put it now here, going to the left is different than going to the right. Orientation matters. Positive negatives matter. Agreed? Except for r, which just represents a distance, right? r is always going to be positive. Always going to be positive. Um, the next thing I want to look at is what do you guys think about those thetas? They're all the same. 
what angles do those look like they kind of represent? Hmm. What angles do they look like they have? We actually covered them last quarter, or I'm sorry, last lesson. It starts with an R. Like what if I had an angle like this? What would that angle represent? The reference angle. If I had an angle all the way here, would that represent the reference angle? Yeah. If I had an angle all the way there, would that represent the reference angle? Yes. These angles are all acute, right? And look at, there's no direction to them. They just represent a measurement, right? There's no direction of their rotation. So yes, these represent like a reference angle. We'll talk more about that next class period. But I want you to kind of see that representation on there. And the reason why this brings it up is because we're going to practice drawing triangles. And when I give somebody a point, sometimes people do the triangle like this, right? which they can still have the same x, y coordinates. But again, does your angle there represent that reference angle? No. So that's going to be a problem, especially once we get into later chapters. Or even worse, they'll do something like this. They'll do the x, and then they'll do the y coordinate. Guys, when I said plot the point, did you plot the x coordinate and the y coordinate? No, no you plotted them together. Agreed? Yeah. So don't do this and then try to connect them and say, that's my triangle. Right? That doesn't make any sense. Basically, the short answer, or the short thing to remember, when you're drawing a triangle, if it doesn't look like one of those triangles, then you did it wrong Okay, for today's lesson. All right? Yes, question? No. Good? Okay.